Former champion Central Coast FC moves four points clear of Laugo United on the 2024 Telecom Super League season and five points clear of Real Kakamora FC after March Week 17 of the Telecom Super League Round 2 competition over the weekend. The Jacob Mollicote side extend their lead on the table to 37 points following their 4-1 win over Marist FC on Saturday. Coach Molly said while they have a breeder for now at the top of the table, they must not relax. Stressing concentration is now very important for his team in their remaining matches. Yeah, today, we are with today's game, we have with him uh, performance lot boys after winning this game. So uh, thank you, boys, for that uh, three points and also thank you, Maris, too, for giving, giving me a good game today. Me fella managed to come out within three points. So I think we have picking up injuries too. So we just have to uh, get back to recovery and uh, to install icing short injury as well. I think uh, whole whole intention now was to play high pressure today and uh, have paid off uh, lower first half. Second half, me a little bit uh, start off slow, but uh, as the game in progress, me will start to pick up back more. So uh, the good thing is me will continue to keep more low on half blood and uh, I'm making our defenders from well, no work hard too much because we might just pick him not lose ball. So I think I'm not a whole idea from well for stay up high and press up high. I think the onus is on us now. We just have to take one game at a time and uh, make sure that uh, we get positive results. Yeah, because uh, league as Mitala is very tight. They will have no far away no more. You make one mistake, you slip down, you make a win, you up. So I'm awesome no more. So I'm come back, Lomi Val, how me will approach him game, uh, games no more. Well, we have to be on, on our game. I, uh, you can see a big upset today. Of course, I am beating Malawi. Anything can happen in football. So you have to stay focused and stay alert and uh, treat him every team with him respect. I think I'm no by me. Continue for telling what boys from. Laugu United FC, on the other hand, saw their run for the title. Slowed down by a naughty Kosa FC side on Saturday. Kosa's second half substitute. Willy Taha's goal in the 88th minute was decisive as they sealed a famous win for the standing coach Richard Nation. Wanego United also managed to pick up a win on Saturday after fending off a determined Sosa FC with a narrow 3-2 victory. Sunday's TSL results meanwhile saw defending champions Solomon Warriors FC securing another victory over Honor City FC. Despite trailing Honor City 1-0 at halftime, Solomon Warriors FC with 10 men managed to fight back in the second half to score a 4-1 win thanks to Dennis Ifunawas and Winford Pekepio's double goals for the Franco Neecoat side. The win sees the Franco Neecoat side remain in fourth spot with 31 points while Real Kakamora FC remains in third for now with 32 points following their 1-0 loss to Henderson Eels FC on Sunday. TSL matches continue on Sunday and on Saturday at the Los Intama Stadium. Martin Taromanet, Tabuli Sports.